Hi there, this is Emily, and I'm going to walk you through how to create an approval link. Do your clients want to see their content before it's posted out to give the green light? I'll show you how to do that in just a couple of steps. You're first going to want to navigate to your name in the top right corner and go into brand settings. You're then going to go into publishing and you're going to want to toggle on require content approvals. This will tell the system that anything that is created going forward will need to be approved before it can go out. You can also do this on an individual piece of content as well. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure your user settings is set to approve content. To do that, again, go up to your name in the top right corner, go into account settings, go into users, and then under users, find your name and make sure you are set to approve. If I were to go here, you can see I have a check mark next to my name that I can approve content. I previously created a test piece of content to show you what the comparison looks like for an approved piece of content versus not. As you can see, there is an orange check mark which is indicating this content has not been approved yet. As you can see for this image over here, there is no approval needed for this piece of content. Now, let's go ahead and create an approval link. Navigate to approvals. You're gonna click on new approval. And we're gonna give this a title. You're gonna to want to select the content that needs to be approved. So I'm just going to add in this one piece of content that needs approving. You can also do multiple pieces of content as well. I'm going to add one item. Internal approvals are for you and your team. And so if you make changes on the approval link, no client will be notified that there was any sort of changes made. In this comment section, I'm gonna say, please approve by Monday. It's always good to have a set cadence for when you, your content needs to be approved because if it is not approved, it will not be posted out. You're going to create an approval. From here, you can either copy, view, edit, or delete. If you go into view, this is what it's going to look like. It'll have the title, your comment section here, and it'll have all of your content that you just made. From here, you can say, please change caption. If you have your internal comments or if you have your internal approvals turned on, the comment will look like this. If you were to toggle on the internal approvals action item, your comments will look like this. As you can see, this is grayed out and has a lock sign indicating that this is internal and this is public. Now your client just needs to come in here, make comments if they wish, and then click needs approval and it's good to go. If you were to navigate back to the content library, give it a little refresh, it is now approved. Thank you so much for watching.